Hey, I'm Stephanie. Let's talk about makeup. Just in case you're wondering, yes, it is cold in my apartment, and no, I'm not even thinking about turning up the heat. Instead, I thought I would put on this hat that my mom made, because every time I do, I feel kind of like she's hugging my head. So, thanks, mom. (laughs) Uh, Today, I'm giving you an update for my Partners in Cream Project Pan for the month of March. Just in case you don't know what this project is, it was originally started by Steph Lyons and Dalin, who I will link both of them in the show notes, just because they're both definitely worth checking out. Um, And they created this project so that we could make sure to give our cream and liquid products the love they deserve. So... Today I'm going to be giving you a very exciting update. I am pretty happy with my usage and I even get to roll two things out. We'll start off with my Tarte Colored Clay Under Eye Corrector. I like this stuff as much as I ever have. It's uh, reliable. It does what it says it does. It helps reduce the darkness underneath my eyes and kind of gives my concealer a little bit more oomph. And I find that I've been wearing this on days where I'm not really wearing a lot of makeup. So if I'm just doing brows and lashes, sometimes I will add this in lieu of concealer just because I feel like it's particularly good at getting rid of the darkness under my eyes. And I'll even put up a picture of um, my face with where I'm wearing it under one eye and not on the other one just so you can see how effective this stuff is because I really like it. And I enjoy the finish because if I use just a tiny bit of this and really pat it in with my fingers, it's not too luminous so it doesn't like emphasize the hollows under my eyes. Um, theoretically, I could roll this out because according to the official rules of the project, we are allowed to refresh the products that we've chosen every three months. Um, However, I really enjoy using this, so I'm not going to be rolling it out. I'm keeping it in. Item number two is my Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Duo. I've had a lot of fun using this. I used it a total of looking at my notes, 34 times since it's been in this particular project. And I'm really glad I have it in a project pan because I'm really getting to know it. When I first purchased this, I was really in love with the bronzer. Um, And, you know, I just kind of could take or leave the highlight. You know, it was fine. But now that I've been like forcing myself to use it, I've realized how good this highlighter really is. I feel like it gives a really nice satin highlight and I've got texture on my cheeks. So I really like a product that's going to give me a satin satin finish because I just feel like that's the most flattering for my particular skin. So I've actually, I've been really enjoying using both of these and I think I like the highlighter even better than the bronzer now. So yay. Once again, I could roll this out, but I'm not because I am still enjoying using it. But also I kind of want to see how deep the pans are in this thing. Next up is my Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk. I used this 30 times since it's been in this project. And I feel like there hasn't been a whole lot of movement as far as like, you know, me using this product. And the reason is because I have discovered that my favorite way of wearing the Matte Revolution formula is to simply dab it onto my lips instead of swiping it on like some lipsticks or lip glosses. Um, And it's because when I do it that way, it leaves a really, really thin layer of the product and it makes my lips take on the color of the lipstick without looking like I'm wearing like paint on them. Like, I find most lipsticks can look a little bit, like, too heavy on my lips, but this one, if I just dab it on, it looks like my lip skin turns this color. And so I really enjoy this formula. I really enjoy this color, but it's the sort of thing that's going to take me forever to use. And that is precisely the reason that I want to keep it in this project, because I want to make sure I use it all up. Item number five is another one that's staying in the project because I absolutely love it, and it's the Marc Jacobs Gloss Stick. I have no idea how much is left in here because it's one of those clicky lipsticks that once you click it up, you can't click it back down. So it's just going to be a big surprise. One of these days, I'm going to try to click it up and it's not going to move, and then I'll know that it's close to the end. But right now, it's still moving, so it's still got some life left in it, and that makes me excited because I really like it. The next item is actually the first one I'm choosing to roll out of this project, and it is a cream eyeshadow that's not a cream eyeshadow at all. It is my Lethal Cosmetics Gel Liner in the color Hurts, which I absolutely love smearing all over my entire eyelid. And that's because I love this mustardy color, and I feel like it works like an amazing cream eyeshadow. However... 
I find that this is a color that I tend to wear a little bit less in the spring. As the weather gets warmer, I tend to like fresher looks, and I'm hoping that the weather will get warmer soon <laughs> so that I don't have to wear a hat and scarf all the time. But um, in that hope, I decided I would switch out the color because the reality is if I'm going to do a mustard-colored look, this is always going to be a part of it now. So I feel like I don't necessarily need to have it in a project to remember to use it. So instead, I thought I would throw in a fresher color cosmetic item, and I chose this one. It is the Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge in the color Powder Pink. And I don't know, it just seems a little bit more springy to me, and so I thought I would add this one in instead. So roll in number one. The next product is particularly exciting because it's my first complete pan. Oh yeah, I completely panned it. And I probably should be a lot less excited than I am because, to be honest, I had used most of it up before it even got into this project. But I did use it 22 times in this project pan before it was used up. So this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Cushion Stick Radiant Makeup Foundation. I would review it, but there's no point. It's discontinued. I enjoyed it while I had it. Now it's gone forever, such is life. But I decided I would replace it with another foundation, so I chose the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. Uh, I have used this for years and years and years and years and years. Uh, it's a tried and trusted product, but what I have found is that it is so full coverage that I need a very, very little bit. A little goes a very long way. So it takes me forever to go through a tube of this, and I want to make sure this one doesn't get too old. Um, and because this is in the shade light, um, I feel like none of the shades are like a perfect match for me, but like light, I can make work in the winter and medium, I can make work in the summer. Um, but yeah. We're st I'm still in like pale season, so I thought it would be appropriate for me to use a pale foundation right about now. Um, so I decided I would put this one in here and enjoy using it for a while, especially because um, as the weather starts getting nicer, I'm going to be going outside more. And this has SPF 50 mineral sunscreen, and I'm a huge fan of that. And for my last product, I also panned it completely. It was my Optical Illusion Complexion Primer from Urban Decay. Yes, I realize it's a mini. And yes, it was halfway finished by the time I even put it in this project. But with the state that the world is in, I need to find things to be happy about. So I'm going to be really happy that I used this up and uh, I can now roll something else in. And what I have chosen to roll in is this Kosas Revealer Concealer. I have the shade 4N, which is just a tad too, tad too dark and a, like a lot too yellow for me, which is, yeah, just not a perfect color match. So using it as a concealer is, isn't like ideal. I can make it work on some days. It depends on how ruddy I am, but I have found that this makes a great kind of primer on the days where I have really bad rosacea. I can use this to cover up the rosacea on my cheeks because I tend to use either a very lightweight foundation or like heavy coverage foundations, but I shear them out. And so this gives me that extra coverage that I need in those parts parts of my face where I get really, really red. And I love the finish of this. This is the sort of thing, like had I had it in the right shade, this would probably be one of my favorite concealers of all time. But because it's the wrong shade, I'm using it as a kind of foundation. And uh, even though it's not a perfect color match, the way I'm using it, it works great. And I would like to use it all the way up simply because um, Kosas is more of like a natural brand, so they don't use as many preservatives. And that means this baby is going to go bad pretty fast. So I want to make sure I use up all the juice before that happens. And that, my friends, is that. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. If you liked this video, then please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It would make my day. And uh, other than that, I hope you have a great week and that we can all remember that even stumbling can be a form of moving forward. So let's stumble in style. Mm -hmm.